le sang, un thème complexe qui renferme en soi de grands mystères dont l'apôtre Léopold Mutombo Kalombo donne de révélations durant ce chapitre 46 de la grande campagne de la destruction des hôtels qui se déroule ici au Grand Temple du Ministère Amen à Kinshasa, capitale de la République démocratique du Congo. Shalom de partout, vous nous suivez. Shalom pour cette première semaine, l'homme de la destruction des hôtels s'est apaisanti sur un élément très capital qui détermine le devenir de tout être humain ici sur terre, mais beaucoup plus d'un enfant des dieux. Il s'agit de la volonté. Sur ce, l'apôtre Le Paul Moutomo a parlé de l'attitude du bon vouloir et aussi du caractère négatif et positif. Yes. The man of God on this first week taught us about the Christ of the blood. He says this, in the blood we find the soul. So every human being must have that conscience that my soul dwells in the blood. So you should have a good attitude, you should have a good way, that's a good character. You want to go forward and open new doors for your life. Willingness is something really important for all human beings. And we have three types of willingness. And it's through this willingness that we can see if you have what it takes or not. Si vous avez de la bonne volonté, If you are willing and obedient, et si vous êtes docile, you will vous eat the good things le of the land. Du pays. La condition que Dieu impose, the condition that God imposes si vous avez le bon vouloir, is if you are willing, si vous voulez manger les meilleurs fruits, if you want to eat the good things, une bonne vie excellente sur terre, to live an extraordinary life on earth, vous devez développer la capacité du bon vouloir. you have to develop the ability of willingness. Ceci. Write this down. La volonté the will est un don de Dieu. is a gift from God Parce que le pouvoir de choisir because it's the power to choose pour mener une vie de victoire to live a life of victory sur terre. on earth. Être qualifié de champion. Being qualified as a champion Dans toute espèce de combat. in every type of battles. Il faut être un homme ou une femme. You have to be a man or woman de bon willing and obedient. Sans le bon vouloir, on est inaccessible. Without the willingness, we are out of reach. Three. L'attitude du bon vouloir. The attitude of willingness. Est une arme. Is a natural weapon. Naturel que Dieu me donne. Given to me by God. Pour me débarrasser des influences sataniques. To be used to get rid of the satanic influences. Pour cela. And so. Nous avons trois types de, de, de volonté. We have three types of willingness. Un. One, Il y a ce que la volonté, there is what I like to call têtu, the stubborn willingness ou une forte volonté, or the strong willingness. Et puis, y a la volonté faible, Then we have the weak one. Et puis, la volonté influencée par la grâce. And finally, the one influenced by the grace. À l'instar du riche et puissant enseignement de ce chapitre, il y a également des intenses moments de prière et de service d'impactation dirigés par l'homme des dieux, l'apôtre Léopold Moutombo Talombo. Déjà pour cette première semaine, nous avons assisté à l'efficacité et l'impact visible de ce moment de prière, car le surnaturel était au rendez-vous au travers de signes, prodiges, miracles, délivrances et des guérisons instantanées. Of God, he made a powerful prayer service. 
impartation. We saw our people are healed. We saw miracles. We saw signs and wonders. So we have been blessed. <laughs> Lift up your hands and tell God, I'm the first one concerned. You are talking to me. That is why my life is constantly challenged. My victories are questionable. My progress are insignificant. Here I am, Lord. I am not an animal. You created me in your image with a personality, a specific willingness that differentiates me from another, that differentiates me from an animal because you created me in your image. I want to have an identity, Lord. I want my identity to be defined. I don't want to be undefined anymore. When somebody is looking at me, he doesn't know exactly what kind of man or woman I am. All the spiritual pressure influencing your personality, your identity, making you weak to control the outcome of all the big things happening in your destiny. Tame them. Chase them away. Tame them. And put them out. Negative spirit. Pessimistic. Discouraging. Pushing you to give up. Right after you have started, push them away from you. Defeatist spirit, alarmist, whiners, chase them out, proclaim, declare that you are not going to cry anymore. Being a whiner is over. Yeah. Alarmist, defeatist, discouraging. It is over, over. All these little voices of failure deep down in your heart. Tell them to be quiet. Lift up your hands. As true as the spirit and the word stick together, I'm telling you, have a personality. Have a personality. Be defined when people will be looking at you. They will understand right away what type of person you are. Have some personality. Not two of them. One in private and another one in public. No. Be defined. Amen. 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 The thief only comes to devour and destroy. Let the healing begin. Believe in God. Believe in God. He's only asking you for one thing. To put your trust in Him. He said, even if your faith is like a grain, you can move mountains. Believe in God. Believe in God. Believe in God. Believe in God. 
Trust this God. Trust this God. Il est réel, il est puissant. He's real and powerful. Believe in God. sur l'impact spirituel de la prière et de la foi car la foi occupe une place primordiale dans la vie d'un enfant de Dieu. Yes, today morning the man of God taught us about the spiritual impact of prayer and faith because faith is essential in the life of every child of God. Telle une grande armée, l'apôtre Léopold Mutombo Kalombo a enrôlé le fidèle dans un puissant moment de déclaration de foi audacieuse et agissante. Yes, the man of God leads a powerful prayer. He leads the people of God to pray and declare upon their life. And he says that you should have boldness, you should have faith, then you can move a mountain from another place. La deuxième semaine du chapitre 46 sera exceptionnellement surnaturelle pour toi qui me suis. Alors retrouvons-nous déjà ici à partir de ce mercredi 1er novembre à 12h. Cette onction va t'impacter d'une manière particulière. À la semaine prochaine. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Yes, I want to encourage you know that the ones that are watching me right now, we are starting the second week of all that is watching chapitre 46 the next week. Wherever you are. Please join us from November 1st on Wednesday. You are going to see what the Lord is going to do in your life. Frightening miracle, deliverance, impactation, blessing, healing. So don't miss this opportunity to be seized by the Holy Spirit. So see you next time. May God bless you.